Hey, what's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Diablo 4 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing y'all how to defeat a Sheva, which is one of the world bosses in the game. We only have a few more times that we can fight her during the beta, so consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on this video so this gets pushed out to more players so they'll know what to do when going up against this beast. That'd be greatly appreciated and it would be beneficial for everyone since there will be more players to know what to do when they fight a Sheva. So yeah, um, I guess first things first, I'm going to be showing you all my build that I have with the Sorcerer. This is how I easily defeated her, and I'm also going to be getting into some tips as well. Even if you're not a Sorcerer, these are going to be extremely beneficial for you to take down a Shava. So yeah, stay tuned for the tips. Let's go ahead and get into this build first though. So if you're using a Sorcerer, I recommend putting one into Firebolt, and then one into Enhanced Firebolt. And then I recommend when you get to this section of your build the core skills you put points into chain lightning and then once you're down here to your defensive skills i recommend to put one into teleport and then invest into ice armor because this can definitely save your butt at least during the beta it does it saved me quite a few times against the world boss and then once we're down here to the conjuration skills this is the most important part invest into hydra this is how you're going to be dealing an insane amount of damage over time to a Shava without having to worry about dying. But yeah, also invest into the other Hydra skills too. Enhanced Hydra and Summoned Hydra. So once you got those, going down to the Mastery skills, we now want to invest into Inner Flames. This will make it so your fire skills will deal 9% increased damage while you are healthy. And you're going to mainly be healthy during this build because you can just keep your distance. So yeah, let's invest three points into Inner Flames. And then lastly here, for your ultimate skills, you want to invest into Inferno if you are this high. You got to be level 25 though to invest into Inferno. And this is the max level we can be during the beta. Anyways, now let's go ahead and get into gameplay over a Shava and how to defeat it. I'm going to be also showing you some beneficial tips that you can do against a Shava without being the sorcerer too. So first things first, like I mentioned, Hydra is going to be extremely important when going up against this world boss because you can just summon it and then you can back off and keep your distance. A little pointer that I want to throw out there to you guys, if you're not being a sorcerer and you are like uh, more based around closer combat, is whenever uh, a Sheva does her spin attack, you can actually dodge that by being up close to her. As you can see here, as long as you're in the circle and away from the direction that her arm is going, you will dodge her attack. So that's good to know whenever she's doing it. You don't have to technically be out of the radius of her circle attack, which she does all the time. Another tip I want to throw out there to you guys is if you can, try to invest into poison resistance. The reason why I say that is because she's going to be dealing out a lot of poison damage. So if you can find anything that helps you with poison resistance, that'll help you stay alive when going up against her. That's totally an optional thing though, but just take that into consideration. This world boss deals out a lot of poison damage. Anyways, I also tried to always keep my ice armor active because this can definitely help save your butt. Sometimes I would be forgetful over using it, but for the most part, I tried to keep this active as much as possible because it could save you from an attack and all i would do to deal out damage is summon a hydra near her and as long as my character is healthy i'm dealing out more damage than usual i have one more hydra than usual if my character is not healthy it'll typically only summon three hydra heads but if your character is healthy you'll be having four hydra heads out so that's a little bit of extra damage against the shava and i'd made sure i would keep my distance as soon as i would summon my hydra I would back off and let the Hydra do most of the work. I would also be spamming out chain lightning attacks to the world boss too. And whenever I would get the immunity bubble to pop up, I would go into the immunity bubble and just try to spam out as many attacks as I could while I'm up close and personal to it. And then I would back off as soon as the immunity bubble was about to disappear. Which speaking of that, in case you're curious on how that is even a thing, you have to get through the story. And when you get through the story, you'll get this legendary protecting amulet here. And as you can see, what it does is when hit while not healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you for seven and a half seconds. While standing in the bubble, players are immune, and this can only occur once every 90 seconds. This is definitely a lifesaver for a lot of things. So yeah, I highly recommend to get through the main story of the beta to get this legendary. 
it should be the final boss in Act 1 that you get this from. You'll have to fight a few bosses. I actually made a video over all the bosses you'll have to fight during the beta. And yeah, you'll eventually get this legendary amulet. I also have this helmet here that benefits Hydra, which I recommend holding on to anything that helps benefit your Hydra if you are a sorcerer. If you are a sorcerer. This helmet I got is called Blood Echo, and yeah, it gives plus one rank of Hydra. So I highly recommend to make sure you keep your gear that you find that benefits Hydra or Pyromancy skills in general, because that's what this build is mainly based off of. And also Chain Lightning too that helps you deal out more damage over time and it helps you take out more enemies at once i personally love using uh, chain lightning you could switch up that skill if you don't like it but personally to me i really enjoy using chain lightning mixed with hydra but yeah i guess that's our wrapping up this video everyone hopefully it helps you take out a shava the world boss this strategy definitely helped me take her out with the sorcerer just keep your distance and keep using that hydra and also, you know, be attacking it too while you have your distance. But mainly the Hydra is doing most of the work. And once again, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on this video so it gets pushed out to more players. We only have a few more times we get to fight her. And you never know if there's a sorcerer or sorceress watching this that could use this build to help them take down the world boss. But yeah, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.